When you link several perceptrons together into layers and stack these layers, you get a multi-layer perceptron or MLP. The first layer is the input layer. This layer does not contain perceptrons or neurons, it is more like a distribution layer that feeds the actual input data into the network. Each node in the input layer corresponds to a single feature in the input data, as we'll see later, and it directly passes its value to the next layer. Then come the actual perceptrons in the hidden layer. These are typically implemented as fully connected layers. That is, each value of the input layer is connected to each perceptron or unit in the hidden layer. Here we have a compact representation of a perceptron with its unique set of weights. Finally, the individual outputs of each perceptron in the hidden layer are fed into the perceptrons of the output layer. We'll see later how to set up this final layer for different tasks such as classification and regression. There can be many hidden layers, making the network arbitrarily deep. Different hidden layers usually have different numbers of perceptrons or units. The number of inputs in one layer is equal to the number of perceptrons in the previous layer. MLPs are feed-forward networks, which means that the computations, also called forward paths, are performed unidirectionally from input to output. The nonlinearity added by the activation functions that we saw before is critical when connecting perceptrons into MLPs. One way to look at this is that without a nonlinear activation function, a neural network will only be as powerful as just one single layer perceptron. It does not matter how many layers it has. But MLPs with nonlinear activation functions become universal function approximators. In simpler terms, this means that theoretically, you can create a neural network that can mimic any function you'd like, as long as that function is continuous and you have enough resources. Thank you for watching this quick take from LLM Chronicles. If you enjoyed this snippet and want to dive deeper into the world of deep learning and large language models, just check the full episode in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and get notified of all new content.